What's up, Red King TV fam? Right now, I'm with my friend. We doing a mukbang for y'all right now. So, she gonna tell y'all what the topic is today. Let's get to it. What, is, what we doing? That's so, the topic... Dude. I guess... It could be, um... First, we letting y'all know how we met each other. How we first met. And then secondly, we are gonna talk about... Relationships. Oh, our past relationships. So, how we met in past relationships. So, let's get to the video. Oh, to the video. Whichever way you want to slide. I'm sliding um, this way because you already did it. <laughs> uh, down. And, wait, hold on. So, this is what I wanted to show y'all. We've been starving. We had got fucking Texas Old House, in. which y'all gonna see in a vlog. I got these steak, these potatoes and shit like that, and the corn and the uh, shrimps. So, I don't know if y'all can see that, yeah, but this is what we eat. Mm -hmm. This is what you need a spoon. Yeah. I, oh, I didn't even show my phone. Okay, because you know you gotta take that. All right, so me and Remy used to um used to work together at um the nursing home. I'm not even about to say the name because it's irrelevant now. We both don't work that long. <laughs> um, so we was working at the nursing home. He was the cook, and I was the CNA or whatever. So. He used to always joke with the other CNAs. <laughs> and I used to joke with the other cook or meal prepper or whatever you want to call them. But I didn't like the other dude like that. But me, on the other hand, like when I like somebody, I don't really like to engage with them. So I was like, oh yeah. So, but one of my coworkers, she another CNA, but she a little older than me. So she, I told her that, you know, oh, I think he cute. Well, like I like him or whatever like that. So. What she did was, she wasn't trying to be messy or nothing, but she would like call him her husband and all that. I used to be like, like, <laughs> it's, I'm like I don't care about you or your husband. F you or your husband. I don't care. Yeah, she or was just that blunt, and I didn't even know her. <laughs> I didn't tell you that. Though. Oh, you said that while we were there, you was like F Bolio. Oh, I was like, well, F Bolio or whatever like that, because I felt like. She knew I liked him. She was trying to make me jealous, but you know, she older than both of us or whatever. So I was like, girl, I don't care. Cause at the end of the day, I know what I'm gonna do. So as time progressed, how long was one battle? It was a while. It was like 2018, yeah. Yeah, I stopped working in November of 2017. So I worked February. Yes, February. Yeah. February. <laughs> okay. So, um, we had always uh like followed each other on social media, Instagram, Snapchat, or whatever. I think I came with your head on Snapchat. <laughs> um, so he he said something, and I put the hot eyes under one of his posts, and um, he said something, and I was like, so I had to respect him at the time because he was in a relationship. So I left it alone, but we still kept in contact for us being friends. Um, did I leave anything else? That was mainly everything. One thing led to another, and we're friends. Do I have to see anything? Because I mean, you didn't fucking tap into everything. Oh. <laughs> But we more like besties, besties like we talk about everything, every everybody together. Just yeah, it's my That's, bestie. Yeah, it's my bestie right here. Mm -hmm. My bestie. Yep, bestie. I know. Yeah, bestie. What you drinking, bestie? Yellow Fanta. Uh, yellow Fanta. That shit's Pineapple. so nasty. That's nice. <clears throat> so I'm gonna tell y'all my side of the story. Oh, when I first met Imani. When I first met Imani or something. I was Imani, quiet around you. Yeah, she was quiet to me, but she had talk around like other people and shit like that. I was trying so, to avoid him. So that's what you was doing, avoid me? That, 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 that was that um, At the time, I don't know. Well, anyway, I started in 2017 at the little nurse home, like she said. I ain't been there probably nothing but like, what, four months? 
four months and then I quit four or five months. I just like I love part time hustle or whatever. Mind you, I'm all about my money, so um, I did that for a little while. And seeing her coming the door, I'm like, man, she like the cutest little thing here. What you doing? She she was playing, so I never got no kind of look. Yeah, like she never even looked at me. Like didn't talk, didn't say shit. Just a couple. Are you gonna get an egg for food though? <laughs> yeah, she was to, like ask for food and shit like oh, that. So yeah. I can't fuck. I I don't know if somebody like me if you don't say nothing. Right. So she'll just ask for like food and shit like that. Oh, what you cooking here and there? Come up and now. She'll flirt with like this little other dude or whatever. I did not flirt with that boy. Yes, you, what? Man, you serious? What? We were not flirting. They always was fighting. Well, play fighting. So I, I take that as like. That's not flirting. What, whatever. No, like y'all, y'all. No, fuck that. They wanted you. Are you I'm going to take your name out. Yeah. I'm going to take it out. Somebody, she um, didn't give me your Snapchat though. I found you on Snapchat. No, mm -mm. that's fine. Um, I don't know. We were, we were probably together. So we started some kind of way. We at the time I was single though. She was single at the time. At the time we started. I'm single talking. now too. I was single too when we first started talking. Mm -hmm. But I was talking to somebody else in the process of talking to her when I first started. Yeah, when you time. first started in this home, you was talking to somebody who wasn't in a relationship yet. Yeah, so. So it wasn't cheating. No, right. It wasn't being friendly. No. It wasn't in a relationship for all the messy hoes. Right, right, right. So, like, you know, we just started juicing or whatever, getting her inbox, I, I getting her shit, getting mine or whatever, talking or whatever. And one thing led to another, and we became friends, man. Like, she cool people, and I really appreciate everything she's doing right now, you know. Like, she understand my situation, which we about to get into after this conversation. And vice versa, he understand mine. Right, so. Like, we I talk mean, about everything. Everything, down to the color socks I might have on, too. Like, everything. Like, she, like, she, she know like she understands. Really going through something, uh, you really need somebody to vent to. Right. Uh, even just want to to listen to you and understand where you coming from. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's that. Mm -hmm. And I didn't stop eating my food just to talk. I need <laughs> and that bitch might be cool. Cause I'm about to digest my food and go get in the pool. Somebody's like past broken relationships. Past what? broken relationships. Why we're so? I wouldn't say broken, but. Some things that scarred us. In a relationship. In a relationship. Um, who would you say? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, one thing that I experienced being in a relationship, one thing I don't recommend nobody to do is get into a relationship looking for or uh, trying to feel, feel that empty void of someone else. Or just trying to take your mind off the stuff. Because in the process, I'm going to explain to you why I'm saying it. Because when I got into my relationship or when I started to entertain the dude who I was dealing with, my brother had just got killed that same year in January. And I was looking for any and everything trying to just, you know, take my mind off it. So he was showing me the attention. And one thing led to another. You know, I was comfortable was like, okay, yeah, I can make this my boyfriend. It's cool. Or whatever. But then, mental shit started to happen. I'm already going through, through, through shit mentally with my brother. And she just having brother. to Just having to, you know, deal with my brother not being here every day. This is somebody who I saw every day. And this person, you, you meet a person that come in. You think they understand it to everything that you're going through, but then when mad they come or when something happens, it's like, nah, that's not what it is like. And instead of them, instead of that person trying to uplift you and get you to, you know, become better, they were just tearing you down even more in the process. So. That's one of the things that, as far as my past relationships, what I'm into. Like, well, she, we okay. both low key like in the like mid healing process. Yeah. Like we both are good, but it's like 
we're, like we're good like we're over it yeah it's but just, it's like uh I'm I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna, nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna put it like this. It's more so of a like somebody like kind of nervous. Like I don't. I just want to take like, my time I, and tap I'm gonna in. do that, but I, I'm not. I'm not ready. Yeah, I know like, I'm not ready. And then on top of that, like for as me, I want. I want to pursue another relationship, but I don't want to rush myself and then realize down the line that this was I wasn't, wasn't ready. This wasn't what I wanted. Cause that's what I did. I got in a relationship trying to heal myself for trying to think that that was going to help me and that told me down even more like that didn't that didn't that didn't help me that broke me even more so now i'm in a healing process of getting myself together before i can present myself to anybody good? It, is. <laughs> it is man I got a squish kebab. What you call it? Shish kebab? Shish kebab. Shish kebab. I shish kebab. Yeah, one thing. I gotta finish chewing. So, hold on. Okay. Well, while he's chewing, I could talk into. So, while he's chewing. That's just regular talking to. Huh? That's just regular talking to. They can't see what's in my mouth. So, yeah. Um, and in the process of me. You know, dealing with all that. Hey, here's my friend that know everything that's going on. I text him every time something's going wrong, just to get his input, get it from a male's point of view on how you know to go about things or how to think about it. Because us females, we might just think about it on the from a woman's point of view, and then that's it. But us females, we need to get it from a man's point of view just to see why he took it like that, why he reacted like that. What I could have said better for him not to take it like that, or what made him even, but he was wrong. <laughs> I I had my fuck ups too, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, <clears throat> past broken relationships. Yeah, fifteen years old. I went into a relationship ready, open, and willing. You know what I'm saying? Because. I haven't been in a relationship since 2014. My my release my last relationship started in 2017. So, you know, it's just I ain't gonna lie. It's hard, you know, uh, to take in a lot of shit and try to just deal with the shit. You know what I'm saying? One thing I can what I'm gonna really talk about is like what I learned and what not to look for in a person. Certain people have certain qualities. And you don't know those qualities until you really, until y'all really see, oh, this is official. That's one thing about me. I don't want like rushing to nothing because I don't want it to be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, this is official. Like, I, I when I do get my next relationship, I really want to know the person. Like, I really want to know you from inside and out. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be with you right now. I have a friendship before a relationship. Right. That's my problem too. Right, I don't want to be with you for right now and everything go good. And then once we see it, oh, we together, then shit hit the fan because now you realize that this, y'all not compatible. Y'all are just, you know, y'all getting bored with each other or whatever. My next relationship, I don't want it to be a boring relationship. I do want that. I don't want my, I don't want my, my female significant other to be bo get bored with me. Like, that's why I always say, like, if it's something that you want to try, something that you want to do, let's do it. You know, anything to you keep us take going a road strong. Trip, take a road trip. Let's take a road trip. Anything to keep us going strong and doing what we need to do. But I mean, one thing I don't like about people is the lie and the deceit. Don't deceive me. Because I wouldn't do that shit to you. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not that type of dude. Even if, it's, if, if I'm feeling somebody else, I'm never going to go and mess with somebody else behind your back. Instead, it tell you, I'm not doing that. This, you know, you is what I want. And then still wind up doing it. Like, I'm not that type of dude, so don't do that shit to me. You feel what I'm saying? That's, that's cheating. And technically it is. But I mean, I had to heal from my own wounds. And I'm not going to lie. I didn't tell everybody this. Don't nobody know. I feel like I can be open and vulnerable right now. I mean, we be talking about it, so why not? It took a lot out of me. It took a lot of energy. Like, I prayed every night. Like, I really prayed every night like god heal me from all my wounds you know what i'm saying i really would sit there and i fucking cry i cry I, I i let i shed some tears because i felt like damn like certain things in my life i felt like damn why people keep doing this or why people keep hurting me like what is about me that the people that people 
just see like I'ma just take advantage of. You feel what I'm saying? So don't don't never uh, even a nigga, a man, never allow yourself to get get taken advantage of by a woman. You feel what I'm saying? You as a king, a black king, whatever you is, white, Hispanic, Asian, I don't give a fuck. You still a king. Never let nobody, period, not just even females, period, nobody take advantage of you. You always put yourself on that higher pedestal. At the end of the day, you come first. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what I learned. Um, I'm always putting people up there. You feel what I'm saying? And I shouldn't always put people up there above me. You feel what I'm saying? So I did learn a lot in a, in a whole process of a relationship. But then again, my last relationship was my first real, real relationship. You know, I had relationships in high school, come out of high school. Yeah. Yeah, it was like kitty shit, like you know what I'm saying. So as you get older and you know you actually you grow move up, in with someone. you move in with somebody. You're trying to have children with you someone. You want you want to have kids. You with get somebody. pregnant. You get pregnant. All this other stuff, like man, you really got to know people before you decide to lay down with them. That too, you really have to learn people. Like I mean, just with me and her, like we we since we've been on each other since 2017, and we'll like we'll kick it, we'll talk. You know what I'm saying? So. From my point of view, I know her, but at the same time, we we both in the process of really getting to know each other. Like, on the deeper level, level like that. But I mean, like, as far as, like, I'm, I'm, I know I look a little right now, but I'm really, like, a spiritual type of person. Like, I'm talking about on the spiritual level. When I mean, like, get to know the person, I mean, like, what their spirit is like, they, like, how they process things, how they handle certain situations. When you in a situation, how you come out that situation, you know, how you talk to people, you know. All that good shit. All that good shit. And another thing, that's another thing that a lot of relationships failed that and lacked that. There was no spirit, spiritual nothing in relationship. Not even mine. And I could be honest. And I, and I know God and I go to church almost every Sunday. But when it came out to my relationship, I didn't pray for my relationship. I didn't pray with my significant other in my relationship. I prayed. The most I did when I did go to God was like, I'm not happy, Lord. Remove it. This is not what I want. Right. So, you know. So, right now, I'm, I'm asking you right now. What would you want? Like, what would you want? What would you want? And when you meet a man, what, what's something you want? Since learning from you, whole process of like from dealing with other coming niggas, out, like coming out of a um an, an, another a bad relationship. What 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 qualities want, you want in a man? First of all, which any any girl can relate to. I need somebody who understands me, who's patient with me. Like even if you see that, like I'm a little rough around the edges, don't just throw me to the wolves just because I'm work with me. Cause I'm the type of person I'm gonna work with you. Right. If you've been hurt and I know you've been hurt and I see that you've been hurt, I'm gonna work with you. And I would like that in return. Uh, let's say understanding, uh, patience, uh, just that's my big ones because I could go on and on about understanding and working with a person, like. Before it's like inequalities and just like any girl, show me some attention. Don't just be like, I ain't even gotta talk to you all day every day. As long as you, I hear from you that day, we good. Um, I'm, I. That's a hard question because I'm not, I'm not a difficult person to. You know, like I want that, that, that. You gotta be buff. You gotta have pretty teeth. You gotta smile right. Your hair gotta be cut a certain. No, I'm not that person. Well, one thing about me, I fall in love with people's souls, not one not thing, that I was that's, that's about me too. Like I don't. I don't I don't like people off of their appearance. Yeah, a lot of my people know. But I will say this. What? No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she smashed my food, son. At least, at least the play closed, though. Mm -hmm. But no, I said a lot of people been ugly. <laughs> oh, man. 
Why I've been in a relationship with all But no, I've, I've never dated an ugly girl, but as far as like, you know how women, some women are insecure about their weed, uh, just about their skin tone, uh, about this and that, like, Not you me. don't have to be insecure, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just do you and, you love know what yourself. I'm saying? Love yourself. If you show me you love yourself, that made me fall for you even right. harder. Like, that shit attractive to me. Anybody who's not not a narcissist, but, uh, uh, you know, somebody who really take good care of yourself, who put themselves, like I just talked about this, like, who put themselves high up on that pedestal and know that it's shit, man. Like, that shit turns me on. That shit attractive. You not a, not a, um, what's the word? Not a person who... Think they shit don't stink. Not you're talking about like a that. person who know their self work. Know your work. Know, know your self work and doesn't settle for nothing less. That's what we mean. That's what we mean. So you know, you know what you work and you know what you're capable of and you know what you expect. Right. Don't settle less. Don't don't degrade yourself to be with somebody who you up here and you want something that's up here or up there. Right. But you settling them for this because. Oh. But you know, but you know out there, God got something better for you. But you still settling. It. No, man, we ain't trying to do that. Like we trying to aim for the best. We trying to aim higher. And like, so I mean, if you just show me, you know, you love yourself, you put yourself first. Um, don't get me wrong, everybody got their little securities or whatever. But for the most part, just be you. Be you a hundred percent self. Yep. <coughs> I got it. I call those sneakers. Oh. Am I keeping it up? But. Let's add it for me. But that's the main thing about it. And as far as me, what I look for, uh, I don't, I'm not even a picky. I'm not a picky. I'm picky. I'm picky. I'm really fucking picky. Because this is why I was in a relationship before. I couldn't really find nothing out that really caught my attention like that. But number one, a woman who don't need a fucking man for nothing. Like, <laughs> you want a man. You want a man, but you don't need a man. You got for your nothing. own. Look, you got your own apartment, own car. On job, making your own fucking money, got you your hustle, hustle, and your side hustle, paying all your bills. You feel what I'm saying? So when I come along, I'm just I'm just adding help, cause you 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 already got your shit going on. You feel what I'm saying? That's but that's, no man wants a, don't, don't. Every man wants an independent woman, but a man does not want a woman who feel like, bitch, I don't need you. You can go ahead. I can take care of myself. Not nah, we don't need that. No, we not because at the end of the day, I'm gonna be truthful. I was that girl that I knew that I could handle it on my own, and Sorry. I told I told the nigga, or the dude. I'm sorry, nigga. I don't need you. I can do this on my own. I'm grinding on my own. Like I don't need you. You can go. But then I had to reevaluate myself and be like, that, that shit wasn't cool because at the end of the day. That's still a human being. Right. That person still has feelings. So you just don't treat people like that, basically. And I got my karma for it. Well, she got her karma. I definitely got some of my karma back. But I mean, we are human. So we're not we're not doing this video like pointing fingers and this that. Yeah, and we're not trying no. to bash anybody. It's just things that we we like, decide yeah. to talk about. Cause maybe I mean we can help other people out there that might be going through the same thing. They might got a young a, a young chick out there with her old man might be you know physically abusing her, mentally abusing her. Like don't put up with that shit from no nigga kings. Don't put up that with that shit from no female who don't want to be by your side or don't want to help you with certain things or don't want to help you grow up be better. You feel what I'm saying? When we meet somebody, that's what it's all about. Like we want loyalty, consistency. We want. You know the the better things in life. We want somebody who care for us, love us just as well as they want. So I mean, a lot of dudes don't really say that, but that's 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 something that I want. If I feel like you really care for me, and I feel like if you tell me you here to stay and you ain't going nowhere, that's what I prefer. I prefer like even if we have our little weak moments, like let me know you you care. Let me know you do want work. Don't leave out. me on. Don't leave and me on. And be then, like when you find something that. Then go out your eye and be like, or oh, I don't want you. No I don't more. want you no more. Look, exactly. You throw you away. Exactly. Don't don't throw me away like that because I mean, don't nobody do that shit. If you like it or not, you are gonna reap what you sow. You will, and that's just life. And like I said, I'm a spiritual person. God look high and he look low. I'm mean, God say high and he look low. And I ain't gonna lie, that's one you thing. You gonna get what's coming to you for doing that. And you know what? I don't want I don't want to make this seem like a shock, but like when I first met him, mine. When I first met Imani, like, it kind of shocked me because not too many young people or young girls 
or get up out the bed early in the morning and go to church and want to be and within the word of the Lord or to hear the word of the Lord and to sit in church for what two hours mine three three hours to sit in church for three hours and get the word of the Lord man that's that's a turn on to me that's a smart woman a go-getter she got her own job she worked hard on call and you know she done her thing even just you know just on her own so i applaud her for that as a woman you feel what i'm saying so women ladies any woman because i do know people women who just strictly want to rely on niggas for this and that no no son get up and go on your grind go get your shit follow your purpose and your dreams and you good you don't need a man for nothing and that that's just what it is so you know but yeah we was hitting y'all with this love segment of some of the things we experienced. Yeah. And. Just a little snippet. Cause this, it's, 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 it's a lot, man. It's, it's a lot. It's really. We just gave y'all a little snippet. A little of, snippet. You know, just a little bit. Well, since we doing this video. <laughs> what was I, what I was supposed to answer from that never ever ever challenge? Oh, so a question was asked. Never have I ever fucked on a sofa. What is it? <laughs> Answer the question, son. Go ahead. No, I never have a fucked on the sofa. I do it in my bed. Get <laughs> Get off of me, son. <laughs> Get off of me. On the bed. <laughs> Fuck a rabbit on my sofa. Stop playing. Oh, I, I thought you. Like, oh, I got my own house. Oh, my own two I bedroom thought, house. Son, I really thought you was playing just now about to sit. Like you, you sleep. Like you, you tripping. <laughs> Everybody in at least fucked on these sofa at least once. I live by myself. Fully furnished house. But I like. You I don't like. Think I'm gonna get it. On my sofa, baby, please. But as far as me, like, I do like to be spontaneous. So, like, we don't always have to fuck in the bed. Like, we can always go somewhere else. And we can go fuck in the woods and we won't. Like, that's just like. Stairwell. Do, yeah, the stairwell. Outside, inside. It don't fucking matter. Just as long as there ain't no mosquitoes. Just like, had to throw a little spice people. in there. Y'all know. You feel me? Too much of the sentimental shit. Exactly. So, but we do have this video. And, and a vlog. And we have a vlog coming soon. Y'all be on the lookout for that, you feel what I'm saying? I'm gonna post like a little snippet on my chat. My IG, I'm sorry, my IG. And she might post a little snippet. Y'all go follow her at it's underscore for Smiley. Cause her nickname is Smiley. Her nickname is Smiley. So Smiley. if y'all notice her, 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 cause she smile a lot. Like I'd be like, Nani, what's wrong? Nani. <laughs> Just her personality, but. I'm, I'm goofy. No. She really is. But thank y'all for watching. Y'all, y'all leave comments if y'all think I should uh, do my own YouTube channel. Yeah, she want to do her own YouTube because channel, and I, I'm, and I told her to do it because she know her wardrobe shit. Wardrobe like. hauls, makeup, you know. So y'all go do that, man. Y'all go um, add her on IG. I'm going to still put her name in the video in the description down below as well. So y'all can go and do that. Y'all get at me. And yeah, I mean, let pull me know. Pull up on me. <laughs> pull up on her, man. Like she said, she wants you to pull up on her. Pull so up go, on So me. go ahead and do that. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> and like I said, once I get to a certain point in my channel, I feel like I'm getting the support I really, really need. Then I still will start doing giveaways and shit like that. So. I mean, y'all definitely go holler at her, let her know what she should do. And I think she should do it. I already told her that Damn. I think she should do it. She know her shit. She really know what she's doing. So y'all fuck with that. You feel what I'm saying? So we do have a vlog after this. And once we do these two videos, we have a, another challenge called uh, What's This Candy? So y'all be on the lookout for that. Go follow me on IG at re underscore dat underscore nigga. R-A-Y underscore D-A-T underscore N-I-6-6-8. Go get at me, and we gonna get out of here and let y'all go do y'all thing. Peace!